Yeah, yeah. yeah and then, extremely technical player, yeah. On the other side, we have Taka. So Taka, coming to Japan, coming from Japan, excuse me, um, hasn't made it to U.S. soil that much. Correct. He made it in, in I believe, Evo 2015, 2016. Not this year, unfortunately. But he plays Slayer, and he plays a very... It's one of those, he's a lab monster, but he isn't afraid to go wild. I actually asked him uh, yesterday how long he's been playing, mm -hmm. and uh, he said he's been playing since Guilty Gear X. Wow. Before, before Slayer was even out. He used to play Angie, he told me. Oh. And then he switched to Slayer. So Got it. He's about as old school as they come, but uh, <laughs> like, like you said, Marlon Pye also been playing forever. He's, you know, he's been playing since I was playing, and I've been playing for over 10 years. So. Exactly. So, I guess two OGs here, yep. Japanese OG, American OG. Let's see who, who's got the greater Guilty Gear blood in their veins. Yeah, and Taka, of course, is the only Japanese player on the winner's side. Like I mentioned, Kadako's on losers, so Correct. Marlon Pai is trying to defend the home turf right now. So, yeah, not, not expecting to see uh, any character variation here. If, if you're a little bit unfamiliar with Guilty Gear, this is t typically a game of character specialists. Exactly. You don't really see too much counterpicking, too much, uh, you know, different characters being picked from from the same player. Usually, you know what you're getting when two players sit down. It, it's it's one of those games where there's so much that any single character has to offer that you really have to spend the time with every single one character to get the most out of them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. To really be become optimal and learn all the different matchups, it really takes a lot of time investment. You can't really be skipping around playing different characters. Yeah. So uh, one thing we're going to really want to watch during this match, okay, I believe we're doing a button check, um, but one thing we're really going to watch is uh, Zato's offense is really based around knocking them down and not letting them get back up. But on the other hand, Slayer has one of the best backdashes in the game. He can, number one, not only is it invulnerable, he can jump cancel it at any time into either just being airborne or a special move. That's right, yeah, so he can... He can cancel his backdash into a jump and then cancel the jump into a special move to transfer the invulnerability into the special move. So things like uh, backdash cancel command grab become, you know, like a next level kind of thing. So yeah, it's really going to put the onus on Marlon Pie to keep him contained, keep him locked down once he gets that coveted knockdown that Zato really needs. Exactly. You do not want to let Slayer roam free. Not only that, he's got that tricky movement with those dandy steps. Yeah, they're showing off right now. That is uh, Invincible Startup. Goes into some follow-ups, two different versions, go different distances. So yeah, a lot of reversal options there. But things like uh, you know Mawaru can really help to lock down uh, Slayer as he's getting up. So I, exactly. I don't I don't anticipate Marlon Pai having too much trouble with that. No, but, I mean, but it I mean, is something course, to keep like, in mind. We do mention that these play two players like they are no strangers to each other's matchups. So yeah, absolutely. They will have the tech. In in fact, Marlon Pai has played Slayer in previous versions. He had an excellent Slayer in Accent Core. So. Ooh. Yeah, he definitely knows the ins and outs. He knows how the character works. He's not going to get caught off guard by any of that stuff. It's just going to be on him to, you know, like I said, keep Taka contained and, and not let him get too wild. Of course. And uh, speaking of matchups, Taka, of course, playing in a lot of Japanese tournaments, meeting Ogawa plenty of times. Ogawa, one of the number one uh, Japanese autos. Mm -hmm. So, no stranger there as well. Just like, real quick. Uh, uh, that's important. Need the Gatorade. Yeah. Hydrate. Gotta stay hydrated, absolutely. Especially here in Florida. Yeah, you step outside, boom, you're, you're, you're sweating. <laughs> as you're, nice as it is in here. <laughs> but yeah, you mentioned Ooh. Ogawa, Taka, and Ogawa actually both play at Mikado, so right. he's definitely, like you said, he's, he's, there's no shortage of, of Zato experience here. And not only in Exert and Revelator, but over the years, you know, in, in older <laughs> games too, so... Definitely no shortage. Central Oregon Tower. We got the handshake. We're going into it. All right, so again, look for... Uh, I think the drills are going to be extremely important here as well because uh, Slayer is a very ground-based character. He's going to want to try to approach on the ground using things like uh, uh, Dandy Step and Mappa Punch. Hopefully the drills will do a good job for Marlon Pai to mitigate that, but right now, Taka is in. Taka is very in. <laughs> Early burst from Marlon Pai. Marlon Pai wants to play this round. All right, Taka backs up. Yeah, and there's there's a dandy YRC there to get out of the pressure. Very smart by Taka. And Taka's also being very responsible about killing Little Eddie. Um. And, and that is a Zato only. Uh, I think that works on like one or two other characters, but yeah. it's, it's Zato specific. He can, he can actually combo off the command grab. True combo. Oh, oh this is big. Oh, he dropped it. Yeah, and you can see when he's in the corner, he's going for those command grabs liberally because he gets such high reward because of the Zato-specific combos. There it is again. Yes. 
Look at this combo. Good damage. Good blitz. Oh, instant block. Oh, he actually, yeah, he instant blocked it. And Marlon Pie's just in trouble. He hasn't really been able to get anything started. Yeah, all, all of those dandy step follow up bars. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That ended so fast, didn't even have a chance to talk about it. Yeah, that was completely one sided. Taka just really brought it to Marlon Pie there. So you saw him doing a lot of those dandy steps into the It's Late follow up. Mm -hmm. All of those are grab and vulnerable. So he's yes. trying to say, hey, push a button here, I dare you. Yeah, in, in Exert's sign, actually, it was not invulnerable. And a lot of people attribute that to why Slayer was considered so bad in the older games. Yes. And then I, I guess, you know, they realized, yeah, we probably need to make this throw invincible because if you just throw it, it negates the whole mix up. <laughs> so they made that throw invincible and it changed everything. The other thing we saw was all of those bites. After the bite, the next special move he does is guaranteed counter hit. That's right. That allows him for some really creative combos. And that's what makes it so dangerous, because the fact that he gets a guaranteed combo off the command grab... Here yeah, it is. is. again. Yeah, he's going to it so Ooh, often. He wanted that burst. Look at him, just every chance he gets, he's going for a command grab. I think Marlon Pie has caught on, though. All right, here's his chance. Nice, again. <laughs> oh. The dandy wire C to get out of the pressure. This is exactly what we were talking about before the match. It's really on Marlon Pie to keep him locked down. He's having a hard time. We talked a lot about backdash cancel, but Dandy Wire C we didn't talk about so much, but it is invincible on frame one. Oh no. The Blitz mini game. Yeah, Taka just firing on, firing on all cylinders right now. Everything going his way. And Marlon Pie on the ropes. I believe it is three out of five, though. Yes, this is a winner's. I, I think Ooh. all of I think all of top, top eight is three out of five. five. I, I think, I think. Well, we're about to find out. Yeah. All right, Marlon Pie trying to get something going here. He's getting a lot of straight hits, but none of them are really converting into like what he wants. And that is a major weakness of Zato. If he hits you out of the air, he can't really get a knockdown typically. Nice blitz there, back, and he hits the burst. Go. Here we go, Marlon Pie waking up. Marlon gets Pai. the air dash combo, but he drops it. Big knockdown here for Taka. The uncross up. Very tricky stuff. Slayer with that sort of disappearing forward and back dash. Uh, on the command grab. All he right. delayed that burst because Talk guys specifically get something that immediately bursts in. Marlon Pie with some meter. Big meter advantage. Yeah, backdash YRC spends a little bit. There's another YRC. A third! <laughs> Slow it down as much as you want. Yeah, but Taka, Taka says, I don't care. Yeah, he did not care. He stayed mobile during all those YRCs. Never really gave uh, Marlon Pie an opportunity to get an advantage off of those YRCs. Wasn't ever in a good position. And uh, Taka just remained patient. Looks like you are correct. Three out of five. Yep. Marlon Pie got his work cut out for him here. He's going to have to win three straight if he wants to stay on the winner's side. Looks like he's taking a moment to think about it. They went by so fast, I'm not sure what there is to think it, about. It, it's interesting because in the first game, we saw a lot of command grabs, and a lot of them were hitting. And then in the second game, he was going for a lot of command grabs, but he actually wasn't hitting a lot of them. Marlon Pie was doing a good job escaping them, but it still didn't matter. It, it wasn't really resulting in Marlon Pie getting back to neutral. Right. He didn't either get back to neutral or, like, neutral jump and come down with a move to punish it. Mm -hmm. Bit of a trade in his Taka's favor right there. Wow, Go barely escaped the air throw. This. All right, early burst there from Marlon Pie. Oh no, command grab. Yeah, it only works in the corner, I believe. The 5K after the command grab. Yes. Yeah. All right, and there's the burst from Taka. All right, Eddie eats the hit, but it's not really great for Zato. Taka's and there's the drill. Great job of killing Eddie. Every right. time, oh. Yep, waiting for Very the blitz smart. to end. Excellent. That was that was actually really good for Marlon Pie also because it wasted a little bit of the Eddie meter time. <laughs> Alright, kills Eddie again. Good YRC in there. Marlon Pie very aware of the command grab. Nice backdash YRC. Oh, Marlon Pie with the right idea. He instant blocked the it's late and then he tried to do 5P, but Taka backdash. Recognized the frame disadvantage and just got out of there. And already we're on the Match point. Yeah, so Taka. Taka, Taka just doing everything right. A little bit of lockdown by the drill, but dash is past the second one. Ooh, catches the back dash. Blitz side nice. switch. Here we go. This is where great blitz back. And he switches sides. Wants to keep Taka in the corner. Ooh, that 2K barely missed Eddie. Nice. Here we go. Yeah, unfortunately couldn't really get a knockdown off the, off the uh, burst punish. Also, Ta I think Taka's just building meter here because he's been using all of those wires he's so effectively. He's like, hey, you let me sit back here and build meter, I'm going to use it. Slayer builds meter extremely quickly, one of the fastest in the game. Oh, big blitz. Knocked down in the corner. Backdash. Yeah. He catches backdash again. 
That I, was very risky. I think Taka is on the next level here. He's, he knows that Marlon Pai is not staying grounded because of the fear of the command grab. So now he's going to options that punish jumping and backdashing. Taka trying to stay solid in this pressure. Great Marlon hit by Marlon Pai. He closes alive. it out. Clutch by Marlon Pai. Marlon Pai, he, he, I like those. He's starting to feel himself. Whenever Marlon Pai starts to feel himself, I feel like his play just throws second by second. And with a crosswise, two hits, one for Eddie, one for Zato. Walking all those overheads. Marlon Pai trying to stay this corner. Nice air throw. Here we go. It's exactly what he needed. Beats the blitz with the low. Talk about to get burst back. Every single one of those these hits in the corner will uh, allow Marlon Pai to get the Eddie Gage back. And that was another great blitz back by Marlon Pai. Great punish Man here, back. wasting a lot of time. Eddie about to be available again. Oh, dead angle out. Why is he just to see the situation? I love that. Oh, crouching confirmed. All right, Marlon, the question here is where will Marlon Ooh. Pai use the burst? Right there. All right, it, it kind of worked. It got him out of the mix up. Oh, hits the crosswise, but a very weak punish from Marlon Pai. Oh, gets hit out of the air. Good block! <laughs> Great Blocks. defense! He's staying solid, but he gets hit wow. low, and that is it. Taka takes it in three straight games. When an opponent has that much meter, you can only block for so long. Yeah, especially a character like Slayer, very difficult. A lot of different options he can use. So Taka advances, now sitting in winner's finals. Very comfortable.